Well, it's happening YouTube. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm having a great day. Why? Because we're talking about squiggly weirdly worms. That's why. Yeah, I got white worms. I got planaria. Super stoked about it. Why would I be excited about planaria? Huh. Well, you know, the uh, infamous deadly worm that kills and destroys and eats everything. The predator. All right. Well, are they a predator? Yes. Are they any more dangerous than your dog running loose in your backyard hungry? No. Um, but they are and they can be. And there's a couple of things I'd like to ask you to do. I need you to stop scrolling through worm videos so I can explain to you exactly what happens when you have planaria and what you should do. And yes, if I look a little bit greasy and like I haven't slept, it's because I haven't. When I discovered I had some about four or five days ago, I was super stoked. Um, and that's because when I first started, I was prepared and read all kinds of things about planaria and I'd never had them before. You know, and then I got them and I was excited and I was like, new challenge, death to my tank. And it was far from that. And there are many videos you will come across that will say planaria the parasite. They're not a parasite. And planaria the predator that will destroy and eat your shrimp whole. No, they won't eat your shrimp whole. Why would they eat your shrimp whole? They only get a few millimeters long and yes, you may bump into a, a video where someone's being like, well, they're not a worm, but yeah, they get like a full inch long. No, they don't. Okay. The only flatworm on this planet that gets longer than a worm that's not a parasite is a marine flatworm, and it only gets a few centimeters. Okay. And I'm going to be throwing up several videos throughout this. All right. Uh, because I spent hundreds of hours doing this, and my wife and everyone else thinks I'm crazy. But yes, I, I have about 36 hours of videos hoping I would catch a planaria predator attacking and destroying one of my animals. And it just, it's not the case. All right, um, so let me explain to you first what kind of predator they are. They are a scavenger above all else, okay? They do not attack and kill or confront their prey, okay? Uh, predators chase their prey. You have a secondary type of predator that are ambush predators. They hide, they wait for their food, and then boom, gobble them up, right? These are on the bottom of the totem pole. They're scavengers, but barely even that. Um, so when you see a video or someone saying, and look, it ate my shrimp, it didn't attack a fully functional, healthy shrimp. So I'm going to explain to you how they are dangerous to shrimp in general. So planaria leave a slime trail, just like snails, all right? Now that slime trail is toxic to invertebrates. Now if an invertebrate happens to walk over that slime trail as a planaria has already passed, it can shock them and paralyze them. They will sink to the, and, and, and let me remind you, they need it in massive amounts because I have dozens and dozens of hours of shrimp nonchalantly crossing over slime trails that were ineffective. They have to pit stop and eat it, all right? Um, <coughs> so uh, anyway, if they do get the dose, it'll paralyze them. They'll sink to the bottom, starve, and die. What do planaria, the scavengers, do from there? Well, if they have nothing to eat, what they do serve a purpose out in the wild. This is why I don't get scared when I get new animals because I do run ecosystems and like you, if you have plants and you use dirt, all right, you need to understand that nature is going to happen eventually and there's going to be things that you bump into, all right? And these animals exist out in the wild uh, for a reason. They serve a purpose, all right? It's not to destroy your inhabitants and extinct everything that you've got. Now, if you have a nano tank, that's another story, okay? 
Uh, we're talking about close quarters if they're it, it, if you want to freak out about worms and and that such. All right, I have a regular size tank. Forty breeders or uh, tanks or larger, you're fine. They have somewhere to go. All right, so. Uh, you'll hear some people uh, explain things you should do that will terminate your uh, planaria. One, you'll hear people say, starve them out. Quit feeding your animals, and they'll have nothing to eat, and they'll all die off. Well, that's actually the worst thing you want to do. Because uh, what does a vulture do if it hasn't eaten in months? Well, if it doesn't have roadkill, and there's nothing else going on, it's going to attack something out of desperation, okay? So you need to keep your planaria fed if you spot them, all right? Uh, keep them fed and don't panic and go from there, all right? Understand a few things about them first before you freak out, all right? Uh, they are a worm. They're a flatworm. Uh, they are a binary uh, fission uh, animal, okay? And if you don't know what binary fission is, a lot of it is explained in uh, microscopic forms of atoms and electrons and neutrons that split into two and multiply that way. Well, this is an animal that they don't just divide into two. Uh, it, they can actually be split 279 times, and it was proven in the 1800s that they can, and they will multiply that many times. So the last thing you want to do if you see one is go in there with your thumb and smush it because you just made dozens of them doing that. So leave it be. Don't freak out. Don't panic. Don't send your scooper in there, you know, your net, and start, you know, trying to drag them out because if you accidentally decapitate one, you just multiplied them. So leave it alone. So let me explain to you their purpose. They, they do serve one. It's not totally negative. They are not this uh, animal uh, that exists to seek and destroy everything. No. Uh, they are uh, nature's recycling bin. All right, so what they do out in lakes and ponds, because they exist in the millions above uh, fish and in vertebrates, because what they eat are the stuff that falls to the bottom. They love uh, uneaten food. They love to eat fish waste or poop. And they will eat the dead remains of whatever dies and sinks to the bottom. They recycle everything that could potentially cause something worse like ammonia or something more deadly than a slime trail that is a half a middle millimeter long that doesn't exist out in the wild. We're talking about on the glass. <coughs> Excuse me. I promise I'm okay. So I saw them and I didn't freak out. I immediately pulled out my camera and I wanted to start filming what it is I kept seeing because, uh, like you, I instantly started uh, YouTubing uh, planaria, planarian shrimp tanks, hundreds of white worms, what do I do? Five guaranteed ways to get rid of planaria, etc., etc. All right. Don't, don't start thinking, oh, I need to get rid of these. First, start thinking, is there room for them, for one thing? And secondly, are they doing their job or have they retorted to doing something else due to the size of your tank? Like for me, this is a 55. Yes, I have shrimp in there. Everything is spaced out. Um, and like I said, keep watching the videos. Uh, I couldn't post hundreds of hours of videos, uh, but trust me, um, I like to show what I say and prove my point. Um, and uh, yeah, I took hundreds of hours and it took me maybe 24 hours to just cut down to minutes to show you guys. Look at how they're avoiding their so-called favorite food, which is easy for them. First, they like snails and snail eggs. Why? Because bladder snails are close to their same size and their eggs obviously don't budge. Well, even then, they won't bother with uh, easy targeted eggs if they have a uh, plentiful amount of food at the bottom and they can perform their job adequately. When they're swarming your glass like maniacs, it's because there's nothing at the bottom for, their, for them to eat and now they're searching, okay? So, uh, and there is a way to eradicate them. It's through a chemical, uh, uh, it's called, uh, hold on, I look down here, it's called uh, uh, fluoptine. It's a chemical you'll find it in dewormer for dogs. 
yeah, uh, you know, tapeworms, uh, ringworms, you know, uh, uh, the scary stuff, all right? Um, and we're talking, these guys are only somewhat intimidating in, in a vertebrate tank, not in a fish tank. That is free food for you. If you see them and your fish aren't nibbling at them, stop feeding your fish for a few days, and I promise you, they'll get hungry enough and start eating all the worms in there, okay? These are only a potential danger in a invertebrate tank, all right? Um, and I don't, uh, I don't want to get rid of my snails because using a chemical treatment, not only does it kill uh, worms, parasites, amongst other things, it does kill snails. And I don't want to get rid of my snails. For one thing, they are... An, an extremely important part of a biotope um, and a ecosystem, an aquascape, what have you. But uh, my pea puffers, that, that, that's their dinner every night, you know, too. I have animals that depend on that. And I'm not going to start breeding snails specifically for that reason when I know every time I buy a plant, they're hitchhiking on it. Uh, you know, so, so here's how planaria work in order as predators. They're first scavengers, okay? There's nothing at the bottom of your tank to eat. Secondary, they're going to go for uh, your snail eggs. Those little sacks that you see that look like gelatin on the glass, they will eat that next. When that's completely depleted, they will not attack a fully functional, healthy snail nor anything else until it's been poisoned by their slime. And even that... It's unbeknownst to them. They don't even realize that they're the ones that cause the shock, okay? It's not until they're immobilized and have fallen to the bottom and are near death that they then force themselves. And you'll actually find, I'm not going to call out any names, but you'll see someone going, and look, I have a, uh, a crystal red shrimp here. And look, she had 50 eggs. And then, boom, cuts to another and, and shows. Now she has two because it climbed on her and ate all of them. No they didn't climb onto the shrimp and extract her eggs. Shrimp, uh, caridinas and neocaridinas, if they actually do cross over one of these planaria slime trails and they get shocked by the toxins of it and their eggs are affected by it, they know instinctively to start tossing the eggs. They're no good. Flick them off. Flick them off. All right. Um, so they didn't attack the shrimp and only aim for her eggs, okay? And secondly, look at the pictures I'm showing you of the size of shrimp. We're talking about shrimp that actually get to a half an inch. We're talking about uh, worms that are millimeters and at max in the ocean, centimeters, okay? And uh, you'll see pictures. I did pull out rulers of full-grown ones, okay? They do not get that large. They are incapable of tackling something 10 times their size, all right, just like a vulture wouldn't attack a full-grown adult lion unless it was injured and almost dead. All right, so understand these things first before you freak out. All right, um, so uh, secondly, you know, if you've got a fish tank, cut back on the fish food and let your fish pick them off. If you've got a shrimp tank like me, I don't have to panic. Okay, this is a 55-gallon. I have 60 inhabitants that are this big. Okay, everything's spread out where they're ineffective, just like at, in a pond and in a lake. Shrimp don't run around traumatized all day, freaking out about worms that they don't ever think about. And in fact, uh, they will eat a planaria. They'll gang up on it and eat it. it it's the uh, babies and the newborns that are in jeopardy, and even still after being poisoned. Okay, so no, they're not going to go s inhaling your inhabitants. Um, like a predator or an ambush predator or anything. They are scavengers. Understand this and then go from there. All right. Uno momento por favor and I will show you the product that will uh, exterminate them and we'll go from there. All right. Welcome back. It's been several days. As you can tell, I've changed my shirt and uh, actually, no, it hasn't. I just ran upstairs and changed my shirt. I'm still awake from the past five days. Anyway, uh, I'll throw up some products you can use to exterminate your planaria if you're that paranoid about it. 
Uh, and yeah, there are some good ones. And yes, you can use dog to warmers uh, as long as it, it contains that uh, fluoxetine blinds in it, or whatever the active ingredient is, uh, or just buy no planaria for shrimp tanks and spend nearly thirty bucks for something you get for five dollars that you feed to your dog. Whatever. Uh, anyway, yes, you can use that stuff, uh, or you can understand how these animals function just like I did, and uh, I'll let them coexist with everything else, and everything's been fine. Uh, but, uh, and yeah, there'll be a tragedy here and there, and that's okay. Um, besides that, I hope you've all been having a fantastic day. And like always, if you're down in the dumps, you're having a bad day, you're freaking out about a bunch of white worms, get up and do something about it. Catch you next time. Thank you.